Okay, okay, okay. I think I wanna watch this one first. Chat, do you know who this TikToker is? I certainly don't. Awful TikToker arrested for lying about her cancer. Wait, I actually think I heard about her. Now that I look at this, I actually think I've heard about her. Oh my god. She was diagnosed with cancer, raised 37,000, but was given a heavy sentence as the cancer never existed. Oh my god, and she made a weird apology. Born March 2003, <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. her name is Madison Russo, and she was a University of Iowa student when she began feeling, quote, just a little bit off. She experienced sporadic fevers, some bloody stools and random nosebleeds, so leading to a checkup with her a. university doctor. On the 10th of February 2000, 2022, at the age of only 19, Maddie was given a diagnosis she never could have predicted. I got the call from my oncologist and they found a mass on my pancreas. They found a mass and I think they, um, that there actually was a mass, but it was, uh, what do you call it when it's like a harmless one? Is it called benign? Or is benign a harmful one? Benign meaning uh gentle and kindly but nine is the uh not harmful one yeah and i had stage two Thanks to the follow. cancer at just 19 years old out of 25 different cancers pancreatic has the lowest chance of survival the five -year oh shit really i didn't even know that 11 percent however this initial announcement video was already somewhat suspicious she kept on looking to the left like she was reading off a script which would be a pretty strange approach Oh my god. However, this initial announcement video of survival is a slim 11%. However, this initial announcement oh video my god. was you... already somewhat suspicious. She just like She kept on looking to the left like she was reading like that is a hella looking be left. a pretty strange approach to talking about a life experience. It's her looking at her script for me. Perhaps she wrote it out to keep her words concise, but also how she was diagnosed didn't sound right. You don't just have an oncologist. It takes weeks, months. You have to find one that specializes in the kind of cancer you have. These red flags were clearly oh. overlooked as Maddie was featured by well, well, damn. News in which she'd stand by her original story. My phone rang and it said Iowa City Oncology. I stepped out of the classroom and took the call. They told me they had found a mass on my pancreas. Why does it say that on her phone? <laughs> Wait, why does it say that on her phone? Why? Did she save the number? Ahead of time, the fuck? Yes, and that I had stage 2 pancreatic cancer. I was terrified and I definitely still am. I was in shock. I didn't think it could be true. I'm so young and I wondered how this could happen. I went through all the emotions and I was pretty numb. I remember hanging up the phone and- yeah, the easiest way to prove this is always just show the medical records, right? That's always the easiest way. And I was a mess. I was literally bawling, but somehow I ended up getting the courage to wipe away my tears and went back into class, which now when I think about it was pretty crazy. You never want to get cancer, and if you do get diagnosed, you can't choose where you get it. Of all the ones, why does it have to be this one? Again, implying to everyone that she'd been given the worst cancer possible. To make matters worse, surgery was not an option as my tumor is on the tail of my pancreas and it's very deep rooted. Doctors said that if they went in, the surgery would do more harm. There was more risk okay. than reward and as a result she'd instead I be heard doing that that can 15 always be rounds the case, of oral yeah. chemotherapy along with 90 rounds of radiation. She'd document the journey as a way to help her Okay, I may have watched the entirety of Grey's Anatomy and uh, how House MD, but I'm <laughs> I, I'm not uh, too medically um, educated to know if this makes sense or not, so... We will, we'll just let Home, him do the talking. Trying to act as an example uh, that she could maintain looks and lifestyle. She'd write, round 14 of chemo ended last Friday and by Sunday night, I decided to throw on my running shoes and sit. Shouldn't you be already experiencing hair loss by round 14? Like, shouldn't you be looking like a mess by round 14? Like, that one of... That one I heard of, though, that you should be looking like a fucking mess. Where they took me. 
well, they took me six miles. I'm thinking the bags of blood I received earlier in the week fueled this one and made me speedy. Although to a person with leukemia named Anna Tower, this was again very. Oh. Where, where's the full well, name? Sorry, I don't see it. Oh, there we go. Simeon, thanks Strange. for the follow. She wrote, when I saw Maddie's post about her going for a run, she looked pretty. She had all her hair and was strong enough to go running, a run I was missing since my diagnosis. So there I was sitting on the couch, looking at that post and asking myself, what was I doing wrong? Why was I- Wow. Oh my God, no. It- it made people that actually had cancer feel bad about themselves. Oh, bro, that, that's one part I didn't even think about from the entire story while thinking about this. Like, I like realized how fucking scummy it is like to scam people of thinking you have cancer, but people that actually do have cancer and looking at her and being like, what am I doing wrong? Why is she able to do this as I'm not? Bro! Old week and couldn't even think about walking, let alone running. Walking to the car to get to the hospital was a challenge. I was thinking I did something wrong. Or maybe that I was not strong enough. Passively implying Maddie's appearance was also highly suspicious. People began to ask, how do you have chemo and keep all that beautiful hair? To which she'd post the following video. How I am keeping my hair um, during treatment with chemo and radiation. My mom found this. Yeah. <laughs> Time to pull out the sponsors. Uh, it's biotin with collagen and keratin. Maddie claimed that she'd kept her hair by using vitamin supplements, but with comments like, I guess the biotin is stronger than the chemo, she'd adjust her claim stating it did fall out sometimes. I was like brushing my hair and a few like pieces were like coming out as I was brushing my hair. She'd post this photo to show she Bro, this is she just cut! Lying. This is cut off! Like, you can see the hot ridges, what do you mean? This is cut hair! What do you mean for what? But it was pretty damn obvious these were simply from a haircut. Additionally, Maddie was super tanned in every single photo. Yeah! Like, like what the fuck is that about? Like, at the very first video, she was like hella pale. No, she's hella... Tan, what the fuck? Which again was weird as they don't let you tan or use self tanners during chemo. Her oh, they don't even let you use them! Was that the radiation treatment was keeping her golden brown. Maybe this radiation was also recharging her energy as Maddie gave talks at St. Ambrose University, the SAU Generosity Night, and for the what? National Pancreas Foundation. No, bro. In the process, she'd appear on podcasts. How would you define the term pancreatic cancer? Um, what do you mean? Uh, define the term? Well, <laughs> it's cancer. That's on your pancreas. First word that comes to mind is just ugly. Before announcing she'd gotten a second type of cancer. <laughs> it is with heartbreak and shock that I share the news that my cancer has spread to my blood and is acute lymphoblastic leukemia. Does that even work like that? Can you? Does that even work? Can you get leukemia you from pancreatic scam, cancer? Shave your hair of and get a wig. Amateurs. Not even putting in any effort anymore. Cancer spread to blood. The cancer has spread to nearby lymph nodes, somewhat outside of pancreas and a distant organ. This is usually stage three or four. Pancreatic cancer is advanced when it's under can't be removed by surgery. Can pancreatic pancreatic cancer cause leukemia? It doesn't really say so. Cancer can spread through lymph nodes. Okay, but it doesn't really say that it causes like proper leukemia then. I've had relatives with cancer and they do not sound so healthy when you are that far into chemo. Yeah, like, bro, what the fuck? On top of my original diagnosis Mostly of at pancreatic stage four, cancer, okay. she therefore okay, okay. update her GoFundMe, writing Maddie's cancer has been progressively getting worse. Like, she should be like... 
she should be like feeling and looking like she's dying at that stage man like she should usually be like in a fucking wheelchair because she can barely walk looking hella weak like a and it's bruh. spread all over her body including throughout her blood and also on her spine she's tried everything and given it her all chemo radiation and other methods have no longer helped as a result donations flooded in totaling $37,800 Maddie's close family friend Peggy Ohl, whose husband died of pancreatic cancer, also sent Maddie a whole package of support materials, including $500 in gift cards. To keep the money Damn. rolling in, Maddie befriended a fellow cancer patient named Charlie, who passed away- oh, Bro, no. Rest in peace. I hope Charlie had some- uh, Exposed to somehow though. in October 22, leading Maddie to make the following post. This just absolutely breaks my heart. Charlie and I would text each other daily, talking about all the ups and downs of both our battles with cancer, and she was seriously just a sweet, genuine soul. We were the same age, lived within minutes of each other, and could relate to each other 100%. Sadly, Bruh. it seemed that Maddie's cancer was also getting worse, as she'd post a compilation showing everything she'd been been through. Included were photos of her in hospital, although it would be through these that Maddie was finally exposed. Oh yeah, I, I actually remember s something about this picture where someone fucking took this picture, this picture right here apart. Exposed. TikToker Scrub Hacks, who worked inside a hospital, noticed Maddie's medical equipment was installed incorrectly. What is going on with that chest port? I am not a chemo nurse, but this doesn't look like a port to me. The dressing is really screwed up with her feeding tube that's not primed. They're like, first of all, what's up with... No fucking nurse does such a fucking sloppy job, man. Like, why is there like a million different fucking band-aids on this? Let's go closer to her nose. Is that the end of the feeding tube? <laughs> One. <laughs> she just stuck a tube up her nose. Comment clarified, chemo nurse here and that ain't a port. Again confirmed by a medical doctor. So you can see that the actual positioning of the port per se is not accurate. Also, the way that it's secured, the type of tape that's used, is not the same clinical tape that we would use in the hospital. Compared to that of Anna Tower. And the diff there it is. That's what it actually looks like, chat. That's what it actually looks like. The difference is almost comical. And I don't know if you've ever seen a cancer port. They're not usually this sloppy. But the equipment problems didn't end there. There's nothing in that bag. This would be where the nutrition would be. And if she was actually being fed via feeding tube, this tube would be full of this white liquid. There's nothing in that. So she would just be pumping air into her stomach. Other photos featured the same inaccuracies. Damn. Here's another one. No substances in the tubing. And her port is still messy. Also, do you see that right there? That little purple spot? Yeah, that's yeah. supposed to be down in her stomach. All of which were taken not inside a hospital, Damn. but instead her own apartment. Every yeah, she she is doing it as an advertisement. Yeah, she's doing it fully just for clout. Like, 100%. The photo was simply found on Google. This is a picture she posted. That is a European outlet. This picture is from Google. Except for some other extremely shameful posts. She this stole the Google alone. image. She put her in jail. She took this picture, drained from chemo era. This was on her TikTok. Somebody reversed image searched it and found it. No! She stole it from someone An else. actual person with cancer. She she literally stole no! this photo. Maddie took photos of actual cancer patients and posted them to her TikTok. How fucking Every time messed it up. is proven over and over and over that you don't F with the internet and weaponized autism. And still people try to fake and scam on the internet. Content <laughs> yeah. is content, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, man. Anything for the cloud, man as if they were her own. Well, as a result, police received a report that Russo had taken money and donations from more than 439 donors, leading to a warrant to search the Bettendorf apartment. <laughs> they got a warrant on her! ...of Madison Marie Russo. There, police found a brown paper bag with medical supplies, an IV pole with a feeding pump filled with cotton balls, two boxes of... Tra why is it filled with cotton balls? The fuck? A wig, plus a brand new 2023 KS. <laughs> the, the 
fucking medical equipment you need nowadays, chat. This is the medical equipment you need nowadays. Medical equipment, wig, and car. <laughs> Portage purchased with her GoFundMe money. Police then searched <laughs> Maddie's medical records taken from Genesis Trinity, which showed that although Russo was a patient, she was never treated for any cancers or tumors. Police therefore froze her bank account and Maddie. What? <gasps> They froze her bank account. Six months later, Maddie appeared in court, making oh the my God, actual karma. family and faking cancer was her strategy to bring them back together. I yeah, here we go. Didn't do this for money or greed. No, I didn't do this not for at all. Attention. I did this in an attempt to try and get. I didn't do it for money or attention. Posts a GoFundMe. Posts it on TikTok. Okay. My family back together. It didn't work and it only got worse. Maddie's lawyer then explained how being exposed ruined Maddie's life. At the gym, she's had people approach her and verbally accost her. She has been at the store where she's been flipped off and cursed. Oh, deserved! And Although the Karma! Those who were deceived still demanded extra punishment. I hope Maddie Russo is held responsible. I hope Maddie Russo has to spend a great deal of time in jail. I hope Maddie Russo has to pay restitution. She preyed on my emotions and my giving nature. The judge did. Yeah, she did. She absolutely did. They fucking deserved. That Maddie had shown remorse. I doubt that you will ever commit a crime like this again. But Come on, man! But charged her with first-degree theft. As a result, Maddie was given a 10-year suspended prison sentence, 100 hours of community- Why 10 years suspended? What does 10 years suspended mean? Uh, what does 10 years suspended prison sentence mean? Is a- No jail. Then why is it a prison sentence? The fuck? Then what exactly does she get? So, the 10 years she didn't get. The service, a $1,370 fine, and she was ordered- So she would have gotten the 10 years, but he suspended it. She, she's off the hook from those 10 years. ...to repay 39000 to those who donated to her GoFundMe. At least she has to be- f Like, at least she has to repay it all. At least she has to fucking repay it all. A 1,370 fine. Like, with all the money she made from this fucking garbage, she can easily pay the shit off, man. With all the fucking revenue she made from advertisement and shit. The GoFundMe? Okay, she has to fucking pay that back, but yeah. Step on the wrist? Bro, bitch should have gone to jail. However, her donors still weren't happy. As a pancreatic cancer patient who donated to her, GoFundMe- Nah. No. No. Me refunded the money. This sentence is appalling. It she is. This is ridiculous, man. She sh Nah. Should have gone to jail, man. Should have gone to jail. She lied to the court. This was for greed, not her family. To yeah. cause people to hesitate to help is the reason she should be in jail. Judge slash prosecution, you failed. Maddie Russo has since disappeared from the internet. Jesus, man. Now, this makes me angry. This really does make me angry. 10 years jail, no parole. Uh, so that she can't come out earlier? Yeah. Yeah, should have... She should have gone some years into prison, man. Some years. This, this is... Nah. So it got off lightly, in my opinion? Same. I think so, too. I think so too. This this is ridiculous. I hate this. Internet historian? Later. Um almost a slip on the wrist. Yeah. Yeah. If this was a dude, I bet there would have been a possible max sentence with no parole. Not making the sound one sided or anything. I have to admit I was thinking the same. I she was thinking not the go same. To jail. Instead, force her to work at a hospital cleaning up the vomit and diarrhea of real chemo patients and watching how painful that illness really is. Maybe it sets their heads straight. Maybe that would definitely set her... Uh, like, maybe that would help her set her head straight. Yes, maybe that would be helpful. But definitely needs to repay all the fucking shit she's done to. 
real disgusting. I mean, she does have to work a community hours, so maybe they'll make her do that, right? The worst part is that people have been thrown into jail for longer for smaller and less serious crimes. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. It's so bad. It's so bad. So fucking bad, man. Disgusting. Disgusting. That that's all. Thanks, YouTube.